If you know this sound, you know the satisfaction of watching a cast land right where you wanted it to. You felt your heart skip a beat at that first nibble, and the electricity in your fingers as you play a big fish closer to the boat. Feel it all again, over and over, on a fishing tour package with famed angler and guide Andy Vanderplu. He'll take you to awe-inspiring locations, abundant with the finest in fin fighters. Call Master Angler Guiding Service in High River, or find them online at sportfishingalberta.ca. to do some walleye fishing. Let's see what we can do, and hopefully we'll catch you a walleye. The cap's all set up, the holes are dug, lines are down, and we're on a big, giant drift. Let's see if we can catch some walleye. So stick with us. Sharp hooks and tight lines. Right, see you we've got our lines down. It's all time for us. Fishing and no bite. What's going on? Well, we'll wait and see. That's right. All right. He's got a walleye. There's a humdinger. No, he's just a minnow. Yep. Chunky little minnow, too. On to the next one. Just right, that's a nice walleye. Let's get it released. Not large enough to keep. There it goes. Nice. Awesome. Nice walleye. He's about 14 inches. Alright, there's another nice walleye. Look at that. Look at the bee. Trying to get our dinner walleyes. One of my favorite walleye things. It's the small one. Let's get him back in there, see if we can catch another one. Just like that. Nice. Another nice big fella. Thanks fishing for walleye. I love it. But too bad they weren't a little bigger to so get a dinner. Gotta be over 50 centimeters. You're too small. All right. Wildlife theater. I always see moose coming through here at Chain Lakes. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Like the fence is nothing. Look at him. There he goes. There's the other one. He's going, oh, don't tease me. Sorry, guy. There he is. There he goes. Alright, like nothing. There's another one. There's the trio of moose. Nice. Behind in the trees. There we go. Alright, here we are out of Chain Lakes having a great time. Old sun tanning, catching a few fish. And we're getting bored, so we thought we'd do some tobogganing. Anyways, down to catch some fish. Getting bites over here, got a bite over there. Tobogganing, catching fish. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him. Look at the whole family. <laughs> We got our first fish on. Let's go take a quick look. Oh, pike fishing and walleye fishing. Yep. He looks like a muskie. <laughs> Only one. You always try to get those when you're out walleye fishing. And we're on drivers and now it's snowing. Trying to catch a walleye for dinner. Nice. Get him back in there, catch another one just like that. Travers walleye fishing, sitting out in the truck, wait for that bite. Walleye fishing has been slow lately, the last few months here at Travers. Uh, talked to a young lad, he said he got about a 15 pounder there, 3 o'clock in the morning. But fishing's been slow at Travers, the water levels are way low. And here it is, late February, and we're giving it a go, trying to catch some fish. So let's stick with it and see if we can get, can get one in the fold. Watch the spinner. Keep an eye on the spinner. Oh, 
fun. Fight there. He came out at it. Right, trolling along the cement wall. But look at that. One came out in the foam. <laughs> All right, nice. All right. The last one. Too. Look at that. Holy smokes. Beautiful. That is Look a good sized rat. fish. All right. Let's get him on hook. Back in there and catch another one. Now, oh, isn't that a nice pike? Whoa. I'm going to get him back in there and get another one. Look at the scars. The bite scars on him. You can tell that's a healthy pike. I'm going to get him back in there and catch another one. Just like that. Oh, look at that, he's gone. Actually, she. We're getting close to season closer, and they're full of row. And I'm glad to see that there's a zero limit on these fish so that we can have more to come, more to produce at season closure, and I'll be protected. Long fishing. There, look, hiding underneath the pole. Just like that. Wow, I'm having a great birthday. That's the way I like doing it. What's that? Four pike and a whitefish. Lazy dog. Tough day at the office. Every dog has Everybody, its day. Another day, another opportunity to fish the Little Bow River. Here it is, we're going towards transition, where spring is now approaching even faster. I've seen the gophers, I've seen uh, the eagles coming in pretty heavy, I even seen swans the other day. The last time we were out with the quad we had 30 inches of ice uh, on the main lake and today we're going to fish below that in the Little Bow River. And uh, keep in mind everybody, the Little Bow River closes March 16th, so here it is the 14th. And we're gonna go out and give it a go and see if we can catch a fish. So let's stick with it. Sharp hooks, tight lines. See if we can get corrected. It is the last day. Closing. Today's the 15th. Tomorrow we can't fish down here. Even though on the big lakes, same thing. All uh, just check your eggs. Everything closes down March. Today's the last day as of midnight. So I better get down there and see if we can get to Spring is coming in. We have had a Chinook the last few days. And uh, we're going to see if we can get our line in there. Today is the last day. And then we start doing the Bow River. And any lakes that are the ice coming off, let's see if we can get up and catch some fish. Stick with me. Third cast in. I got a pike right away. Look at that. Last day. Here it is, March 15th, 2011. So I bet you I'm gonna have a good day. Look at this guy, he's like a boomerang pike. See his bent, back his bent. We'll get him released, get him back in there, and see if we catch another one. Just like that, stand by. Gotta find a landing spot here. But he's all bent. Okay, look at that. He's just barely hooked in the corner of mouth. I finally got down here to this slippery position. Let's take a look. Beautifully. 
So if I step near him, he's gonna that hook. He's barely, barely hooked. Look, look at that. Didn't even have to touch him. Look at the bend in his back. That's a nice looking fish. Let's spook him off. See if we catch him again another day. And there he goes. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Three casts in. I knew it was going to be a good fishing day. So stick with us as we catch more pike action. I just started. The little guy had to change up. <laughs> he ain't very big. We can probably uh, unhook him just from here. <laughs> had to change spinners. Look at that nice LDR. There he is. There he goes. <laughs> All right. That's two. Pretty slow fishing. some fun on the river before transition. A little over. Zero limit on the pike and check your eggs for other species. Jeez, they're starting to bite now. Look at that white fish. Look at him, look at him. There he goes. All right, awesome, another white fish. 